Hey everybody and welcome to the channel. So if you're interested in getting into 3D modeling cars but you don't know where to start, maybe today's video will be helpful. We're going to do a very simple, straightforward, basic blocking out of a car shape and you can take it from there. You can take that model and turn it into basically anything, a pickup truck, a minivan, anything like that, right? So hopefully it's helpful for you. Let me know in the comments if it is. And that said, let's get started with today's video. Here we go. Okay, everybody, so we're in my 2020 and we're going to have some fun modeling a very simple and basic car. Now, I got the idea looking at a uh, Blender video where they were doing a challenge, um, but this is not going to be a speed video. Uh, I just want to have a regular pace because the idea behind my videos is that you guys can follow along and learn something. Yeah. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a, um, yeah, let's see, we'll take a polygon cylinder to start with. And we're going to control A. We're going to open that up. We're going to set subdivision count to 8. Yeah. Then we're going to jump to the top and we're going to right click and go to face. So we're going to drag select this, get rid of it. Yeah. And then from here, we're going to right click and go. And actually, we don't need the top faces either. Let me just uh, fix that. Yeah, we only need that. There we go. All right. So we're going to go in here and we're going to go to edge and we're going to click on that edge, extrude. We're going to give it an offset like that. All right. And then from there, what we're going to do is we're going to right click, go to vertex and we're going to start to snap those. Yeah. So I'm going to do one. Let's do it on the grid. Yeah. One there. We'll do one there. We'll do one there. One. Uh, let's do it there. Yeah. And one there. There you go. Then we're going to go in to face and we're going to cut that out. Right. Okay. We're going to take this guy. We're going to um, duplicate it. W to move. And let's move that to, I would say, about here. That kind of makes sense. Yep. Then we're going to go to object mode and we're going to go to mesh and combine. Then we're going to right click at edge one and two. And we're going to go to edit mesh and bridge option box, linear path and zero and bridge that. Yeah. Okay. So now that we have that, we're going to do next is we're going to right click and go to object mode. We're going to E to rotate, hold down J, flip it up like so. Yeah. And then we're going to uh, extrude this. So we're going to control E to extrude. We'll give it some thickness. I would say to about there. Yeah. Then we're going to uh, delete those faces. Uh, let me think. Am I going to delete those faces? Uh, yeah. Okay, so now that we have that, we're going to close up these wheel uh, gaps here. Uh, so we're going to go to the back. We're going to go in to uh, edge and we're going to go one and two and edit mesh and a bridge. One, two, three. We're going to go to uh, fill hole. Then we're going to do uh, one and two and edit mesh and bridge and then one, two, three and edit mesh and fill hole. And now we have that. That looks fine. We can now mirror that. So we're going to duplicate it. Control D. W to move it over. E to rotate. Hold on J. Flip it around like so. We're going to check out the overall width of the intended car and we're going to do that by selecting both and go to mesh and combine and then uh, modify and center pivot but it should already be in the middle jump to the top w to move hold down x snap it to the grid like so and now what we can do is go in and close this guy up so we're going to go into edge double click all the way around shift double click all the way around and go to edit mesh and bridge like that. Yeah. 
Now we can start to work on the roof. We can go in here, take this guy, one, two, three. And um, we could even do this if we wanted, yeah. Control E to extrude, W to pull up, like this. We are going to hit R to scale it in like this. And I'm gonna scale it in a little bit like that. And we might want to raise the whole thing up a little bit. And again, like I said, very simple, basic car, right? Okay, so now that we have that, we can focus on the wheels. Uh, for the wheels, we know we have this shape right here. So we're gonna go in, we're gonna take the cylinder. We're gonna move that out. We need to rotate. Control A. We're gonna go in here, we're gonna set it to eight. There you go. And we're gonna to go to object mode. We're gonna hit R, we're gonna push that in a little bit. W to move that in. And let's make that a good fit. Four for wireframe mode, F to frame. R to scale down. All right, and let's make sure it's perfectly snapped like so. Control D to duplicate, W to move, hold down X. And there you go. And then we're gonna take these two. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up to the top. We're gonna hit Control D to duplicate, W to move. We're gonna hold down X. Bring it back in a little bit like this. And to get it perfectly aligned, we're gonna take all four. Let's go to mesh and combine. Modify, center pivot, 4-4 four, four iframe mode, and let's snap it to the center. And we should have the exact same distance everywhere, yeah? Okay. So now that we have that, we can do next is we can put in a bumper if we want. And for that, what we'll do is we'll uh, insert an edge loop. Let's do a manual one uh, like that. And then let's see, that seems to be fine. Yeah. So and we can do one in the front, one in the back if we like. We'll hit uh, face and we'll do one, two, three, four, five. And we'll do one, two, three, four, and five. Control E to extrude. Let's do 0 0.1, which probably is a bit much. That's not too bad. 0 0.1 is okay. So got that in there, and then, um, yeah, what else can you do? You can um, maybe change the angle of this guy right here. Hit W, kind of push that in, like so. And we'll do the same here. And maybe lower that just a little bit, just to give it a little bit more shape to it, yeah? And then as far as the roof is concerned, you can go in here and change that angle if you like, just to make it look better. But all in all, a very, very simple and basic car shape, right? So um, yeah, that's just an approach you can take uh, if you want to do that kind of cartoony style cars. And from here, it's very easy to modify that. If you want to have, let's say an open roof, uh, for example, you could go in here and, uh, you know, uh, Take these faces here, and I'll just uh, get them out. Close that up, and you got a convertible. You can make it into a pickup truck. You can do all sorts of things, right? So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little video. Uh, it's just a different approach, I would say. Um, let me know if you like this kind of thing. Uh, that said, thank you for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.